In this tutorial, we'll learn how to bake any physics simulation on Google Collab instead of our local machine. It can have a huge advantage, let's say we have a composition like this with rigid body physics, we can control the precision and accuracy of this physics by changing these two fields under the rigid body world. If we use a very high value, it will certainly give a more perfect result, but now it can also take a very long time to bake. Similarly, in a fluid simulation, the accuracy and the precision of the fluid physics depends a lot on the domain resolution, which we can easily change from here, but if we use a very high value, it can take a long time to bake, or it can even crash. So we'll learn how to bake this physics on Google Collab, even if you don't have a very high-end machine. We can start with this example, we have added rigid body physics to all these parts, and we have also added a cloth object, which has its cloth physics enabled. This first method works for various different physics types, except the fluid physics. We'll cover fluid physics in the second example. This first example covers all other physics types, like force fields and collisions, rigid bodies and soft bodies, cloth physics and dynamic paint. We need to first set up our scene with all physics properties, and if you use a different end frame number for your scene, please remember that you need to also change it in the cache section for the particular physics that you are trying to bake. So here we'll change this number, to say 400. Now we have to save this blend file, and upload it to our Google Drive. On your Google Drive, first create a folder called Collab Bake, and within this folder, you need to upload your blend file, like we uploaded our demo1.blend. Then two more files you need to add here. First go to Blender's download page, and under this main download button, you'll see another option for Linux and other versions. So expand this section, and from here, you need to download this Linux version, and then upload this file as it is, back to your Google Drive. So first we have uploaded our blend file, then we have uploaded this Blender installation file, and please note that it comes with a tar.xz extension, don't make any change to this. Then we also need to upload this third file, which is a script, and the link is given below in the video description, you can download this file and just upload to your drive folder. So you need to keep these three files together, in a folder called Collab Bake. Now search for Google Collab, and click on this first link. It will give us a prompt, which we'll cancel, and we'll open a new notebook from here. Once it opens, we need to paste a set of instructions or code like this, this code is also given below in the video description, and there are three steps here. In this first step, it will create a connection to your Google Drive, then in the second step it will install Blender on Google Collab. And in the third step, it will execute our script, which will actually bake the blend file, but please note that you may need to make few changes here. You may need to change this version number, in case you download a different version of Blender, you must verify this from the name of the file you downloaded from Blender. And if you change this version, you need to also make the same change here, in this version number. Then you need to change the name of this blend file, we have used demo1 here, just as an example, you have to use the actual name of your blend file you want to bake. Then you can run this code from here, it will first connect to a runtime engine in the back end. And please note that you don't need to connect to any GPU, because baking always happens on CPU, so there is no need to consume any costly GPU. It will start executing the code after it connects, and it will ask for the permission to access our Google Drive. If you want to know more about Google Notebooks and Collab, you can refer to our previous tutorial on how to render your scene on Google Collab, the tutorial link is given below. So it will now start executing the steps from this notebook, and you can see the progress from this bottom section. Once it completes, you can verify that all the frames have been baked, from frame number 1, up to frame number 400. Now you can go back to your Google Drive, and then download this blend file. It will also create a copy of your original blend file, but don't use this one, you need to download this file, which also has a bigger file size as we can see here. It comes with the baked data, we can play the animation right away, and we can also verify that we have got 400 frames now in our cache, so we are done with this example. In our second example, we have created a fluid simulation, we have added here a flow object, some fluid effector objects, and also a fluid domain. The difference between a fluid simulation and other types of physics is, fluid simulation always uses a disk cache, it does not keep the baked data in the same blend file. So if you scroll down to the section called cache, you'll find a location where the cache path is mentioned, and please remember that we must use a relative path here. A relative path means, it starts with these two slash symbols, 
so if you have a long file path here, delete everything, and enter two slashes in the beginning, then enter your cache folder name. What it does is, it will create the cache folder structure in the same location, where you have saved your blend file. A relative path means, it does not matter where your blend file is actually stored, Blender will create the cache folder in the same location with the blend file. So once the cache path is selected, we need to work on this end frame number. Currently this number is perfectly matching, with the end frame of our entire scene. But we need to change this, we need to use a small number here, like 2 or 3. This is because we need to first bake these 3 frames manually. Then in the type field, we'll use the all option, and we're ready to now bake these 3 frames. Let's wait for this to complete, and once it is done, we can change the end frame number to whatever number of frames we need to bake. So if we change it to say 600, it will match with our scene length. But this will take a lot of time to bake even on Google Collab, so I suggest you to do it in a batch of say 100 frames at a time. And once it completes, we'll change it to 200 and again bake it on Collab. You can verify that there are two options visible here, resume and free, for the bake data, and now we need to simply save this blend file. Then as a result of this bake, Blender will create several subfolders within the cache folder, with some data files as well. Now we have to upload this whole thing to our Google Drive, so upload this entire cache folder, and also upload this blend file. Now on Google Drive, we'll have a folder called cache, you should verify that it contains all the subfolders like our local machine. Then we'll have our blend file, which is demo2, we'll also have here the Blender installation file like before. But we have changed the script file, now we have another script file here, which is suitable for fluid physics, and the link to download this file is also given below, in the video description. Then, in our collab notebook, we have to make two changes in this last line. First we have to change the name of this blend file, which is demo2 in this case, and we need to change the name of our script file, which is bake fluid, instead of bake all. Let's now run this code, and wait for it to complete, it will take some time, depending upon the number of frames you have. And once complete, you can go to your Google Drive, and download this cache folder and the updated Blender file, both of them together into your local machine. So here goes our result, now you can repeat this same step multiple times, so first change this to 200 and bake it on Collab, then download it and change it to 300 and so on, step by step you can complete the baking for all your frames. You can actually use this technique for any other physics as well, if you want to use a disk cache instead of keeping the baked data within the blend file. This is the final output from this composition, and we baked everything on Collab. We even rendered it on Collab using Cycles, the link is given below in the video description, in case you want to watch our tutorial on how to render it on Collab. So that's all for today, I hope you like our tutorials, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.